What is up there, YouTube Psychotic Gaming? Back here with Pascod Killing Episode 1, Part 2. Alright, the first episode of what I'm going to try to do for each uh, Call of Duty. I'm going to try to do one episode per COD, two parts for each one. Uh, the first part will more than likely be a live commentary. And the second one will be me going more into depth about what I did and didn't like about that Call of Duty or any other tidbits I can come up with. Um, because, you know, I feel like some people like the live commentary aspect, uh, like Fonsify, Chance, almost every commentary I upload, he always comments, was this a live commentary? A lot of people really like it, some people don't. Um, I'm kind of on the fence about it, I like to do it sometimes, and uh, that's really only if I'm really, really talkative at that time. Uh, but when I'm just sitting down watching the gameplay, commentating over it, I can come up with a lot more. I can go more into depth. I can kind of think more because I'm not focusing on the actual game itself while playing it. Uh, like, I'll just break and pause and just because I'm, you know, working on my aim, working on my shot, you know, trying to see what's going on. Or if I get really on a rant and I start talking a lot, I go on a chain of thought, then I'll kind of just sit there in the game, just like not move. Alright, uh, but anyways, uh, I kind of talked a little bit about the stuff that I did and didn't like in uh, the first part, but I'm going to go more into depth. Uh, I'm going to go with the negatives. There's not a whole lot for me on this one. Um, one of my negatives is that people still new tube on this game, and like I know they're still there. I know the new tubes are still in attachment, but I just can't believe that people do that. Uh, I feel like you could really tell those are the ones that don't have the newer Call of Duties. They either can't afford it or can't get their hands on it. So, you know, they're kind of stuck in the noob days. Uh, you know, I was when I first started. I was a big, huge noob tuber, and I really feel like everybody was. Um, the, some of the maps I'm not really a big fan of, like Shipment. I don't, I'm not a fan of the really, really tight quarter small maps. Um, <clears throat> uh, the one on the boat, I can't, the fighter, boat, whatever you want to call it, ship, something. Um, I wasn't really a fan of that. It was a little bit too dark, and it was kind of too plain. Like, you had two sniper roosts, or nests, or whatever you want to call it, opposite sides of the boat, and then in the middle was just kind of like all symmetrical. Down the middle, one half of the boat was basically the same as the other half of the boat. It just had a different look to it. Um, but other than that, uh, some of the guns did hit a little bit harder, like the M16 right here. Uh, that was a big favorite with a lot of people. Um, and this right here, this gameplay is probably my best gameplay in COD 4, especially sniping. I go 26 of 4, or 24 and 6, sorry. Sorry, I'm still getting over this goddamn cold. Um, uh, things that I really, really, really do, and, or wait, one more thing that I kind of don't like about it. The contrasts between the backgrounds and the maps and the players. They don't, they really blend in a little too much sometimes on different maps. Uh, this one kind of, uh, kind of in all the marsh area near the middle and kind of on the outer rims of the map. Uh, it's really, really hard to spot them. Uh, there's a couple other maps. I can't really uh, grasp my head around which other ones are like that. But really any ones that have a lot of vegetation, a lot of trees or anything like that, uh, those players are going to blend in pretty damn well. Like especially in the tall grass if somebody lays down, like I just lose them. I can't find him at all. And I really don't know how he was sitting back there and I didn't know. Alright, things that I really do like about it. Especially going back and playing into it now when we're like, what, seven, eight CODs past COD 4. Um, let's see, COD 4 is 4. So COD 4, World at War, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2, about to be going into Ghost. So six CODs past COD 4 and... I just like it because it's a little bit more laid back. People aren't as try hard. People aren't as on much on the BS that they would be uh, in the newer Call of Duty, trying to level up as fast as they can, camping in corners or just you know on bull crap. Oh, that was another thing that I hated about COD 4 was Juggernaut. I absolutely hate that perk. I feel like if you run that perk, you're a pussy, and uh, you just using another bullshit tactic just to stay alive for a couple more kills. But things that I do like uh, is a little bit more laid back. The guns, uh, most of the guns seem a lot more balanced. I love the feel of the M40, even the R700. A lot of people don't like it. I, I really haven't got my hands on it that much because I just got this game like last year, and 
all the past times I played it was over at friend's house, so I started brand new, fresh, level one. Uh, the only times I really got my hands on the R700 was when I picked it up from an enemy. Um, but you know, other than that, the guns seem really balanced. They seem really, they handle very, very extremely well. I just love the feeling of them. I love the feeling of COD 4. Uh, another thing that I really like, it could be, uh, I talked to my buddies about it on live the other day, it could be I live by a COD 4 server, but I feel I don't ever get any kind of lag or anything like that with COD 4. Uh, everything runs crisp and smooth and just tight, just clean. Uh, the graphics, even for an older game, are pretty damn clean if you ask me. Uh, if you look back at some older games like... Even in my opinion, Black Ops 1, their graphics were not substantial at all. They were pretty damn pixelated. Uh, you know, COD 4 isn't real looking, to say the least, but it is fairly close compared to some of the other Call of Duties. I think Infinity Ward is a boss when it comes to graphics. I don't know why they can beat out Treyarch all the time on almost everything. Um, you know... It's just the whole environment and aspect of COD 4, which is just great. And why is my computer freezing? Um, I'm hope this commentary is still recording. Uh, it should be, but my computer just froze. I stuck on my uh, screensaver. That's just it's supposed to be moving, but it's not. Um. Oh, oh, there we go. It's still going. Yep, I'm still going. Uh. Oh, but the gameplay is over. So, uh, sorry about the technical difficulty there. But I hope you guys enjoyed this and keep your eyes out for episode 2 coming up with the Modern Warfare 2 because I do not have World at War and I did not really experience it that much. I didn't play it that much. But, uh, yeah, sorry, I'll be skipping that. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and uh, keep an eye out for episode 2, part 1. And this is Psychotic Gaming saying have a crazy ass rest of the week.